Leo. Welcome to your August 2018 uh, first through the 15th tarot reading. Again, my name is Serafina Safi, and this is Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to Wonderland today. I love my Leos. Thank you for coming. Happy birthday. And um, we're going to be using three decks. The Vintage Oracle, which you can purchase in the link below in the description box. Um, I also have the uh, Teru Wonderland, which is also linked in the description box, and Wonderland in a tin, which is also linked in the description box below. Um, another thing I want to let you know is my private readings. They're on sale to the end of the summer, $20 for a 40-minute reading. And also, I'm offering um, $4.99 pay-per-view. So, say you watch this and it resonates, but you want to know a little bit more about your career. Well, for $4.99, you can purchase the Leo career. Um, I'm also going to have singles and couples. So, if you want more information on your couple, then uh, you would purchase that for $4.99. If you want more information in your singles, you can purchase that. It's $4.99. I was going to put them on VMA, but there was an issue with that. Um, it just happened today, and I've been promoting it on all of my other videos. So if you want those, shoot me an email, and I will probably have them on my website before August the 1st. Um, but if you want them now, shoot me an email, $4.99. Um, for career, couples, and singles. Okay, so let's get started. What is the central theme of Leo's reading today? Central theme of Leo's reading today? Faith. to explore your internal world versus your external world. What's going on inside of Leo's head? Three cards for what's going on inside of Leo's head. Alright, so we have the Page of Cups in the reverse. So that's being emotional, disappointments in love, got, dealing with gossip, dealing with a breakup, Dealing with a stalker, um, letting go of the past. What else is going on? I hate whenever they fall on the floor. I, I like whenever they come out like exactly the number that I need. I hate when they fall on the floor. Because <laughs> these are just all in all. Alright, so we have a uh, strength. So this is inner strength. This is strength of mind. Um, you may have some fear, but it, it doesn't matter. You're going to do things anyway. This is courage. Tough times that bring you closer. And then we have the Ace of Swords. This is um, breakthroughs in a situation, new plans, new ideas, a new outlook on life, a new mindset new communication coming in. Why is the Page of Cups here? Why is the Page of Cups here? Hey, it's the Three of Pepper Mills. So the Page of Cups is here because you're turning your, your back on the past. You're looking towards the future. Um, you're taking action and making a decision. Why is strength here? Right, the four of oysters. So this is financial stability, saving up. There could be some secrets here, withholding information. Why is the ace of swords here? I have the magician reverse. So this is lack of self-discipline, um, not having the resources that you need, um, being a liar, a thief, lack of confidence, showing off communication problems. Hmm. 
So what's going on in Leah's family and home life? Leah's family and home life. Three cards for Leah's family and home life. There's two. Um. Oh, this came out again. The King of Wands keeps coming out. Every single reading I've done so far. And I've been doing them backwards from Pisces to Leo in order backwards so Pisces Aquarius and the king of one came out in every single one of those so we have the ten of swords and this is a complete and total mental breakdown this is being backstabbed this is abuse hitting rock bottom of the seven of swords in the reverse so this is breaking habits, calling things out. There's challenges here. There's a lot of painful lessons, a lot of change in your whole family and home life. And then we have the King of Wands in the reverse. So this is a card of narcissism. Um, this is someone who is ineffective, a poor role model, who's immature, a pushover, um, someone who's does risky behaviors, who's a tyrant, a bully, a dictator, who's arrogant, a poor businessman, um, someone who's like a one-hit wonder. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? It's a little weird again just to irritate me. It does it just irritate <laughs> It's very irritating. Alright, so I have the nine of peppermints. And this is someone who's constantly on guard, who's taken on way too much responsibility, who underestimated the massive effort that things were going to take, who's trying to cope. This is the battle weary soldier. This is someone who had too many battles to fight, who reflects on the past, who reassesses current commitments. Right, seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Right, so we have the Ace of Oysters in the reverse. There's a lost opportunity. Why is the King of Wands here? Why is the King of Wands here? Why is the King of Wands here? I'm trying to keep them over the table so they don't fall. Alright, so the King of Wands is here because of the King of Pepper Mills. So the King of Pepper Mills has the Midas touch. He's success. He's wealth. He's luxury. He's security. He's resourceful. Um, he works hard for what he has. All right, what's going on with Leo's money? Three cards for Leo's money, please. Three cards for Leo's money. Nine of Swords in the reverse. Four of Pentacles in the upright. Five of Swords in the reverse. So this is not swaying the small stuff, getting perspective. This is financial stability, ownership, saving up. This is being a workaholic. This is 
is someone who's very hypocritical, a perfectionist, someone who may have OCD, um, someone who could be very bitter, vengeful, malicious, um, a liar, a cheat, mind games. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here? I'm hard for why the Nine of Swords is here. Okay, the Chariot reversed. So the Nine of Swords is here because there's a loss of control. There's a lack of self-discipline. There's a loss in direction. There's emotional outbursts. Wearing a mask to hide emotions. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? The King of Oysters. So the King of Oysters um, came out before. So we had it twice. And this is actually a really good card to get in money. Because he does have the Midas touch. He has the Midas touch. He, he turns rocks into gold. He turns oysters into gold. Anything he touches turns to gold. He is prosperity. He is wealth. Why is the Five of Swords here? Because of the Knight of Hats. This is the knight in shining armor, the smooth topper, the ladies man. Three cards of advice for Leo. Three cards of advice for Leo. Three cards of advice. Yeah, they almost fell, but they caught them. And it's three exactly. Oh, so we have the Emperor. We have the Seven of Wands reversed and the Empress reversed. So the Emperor and the Empress are a perfect couple, and one's in the upright and one's in the reverse. So the Dodo was a very effective leader. He came in Alice's pool of tears, and he saw that everybody was wet. So he organized a caucus race where everybody's the winner. There are no losers. He was an effective, solid leader, a provider. He took control of the situation. He developed a tough exterior. Be the dodo. We have the seven of wands in the reverse. So you want to give, give up. You feel overwhelmed. You feel overly protective. We have the Empress in reverse. There's a lack of growth here. You're being unproductive. There's a lack of stability, a lack of development. Um, poor self-image, neglect, immaturity, manipulation, and there could possibly be some overeating. But you want to be the dodo, not the Empress in reverse. Why is the Emperor up here? Why is the Emperor here? The Emperor is there because of the lovers in reverse. There might have been an affair in the past. Or um, jealousy, using sex as a weapon. There was a divorce, separation, low self esteem, lack of self love, disagreements. And the dodo is an Aries. Why is the seven of wands here? Why is the seven of wands here? Right, the seven of wands is here because of the four of flamingos. So the four of flamingos is mental overload, a need for retreat. It's an enforced period of rest. It could be like hospitalization or just going on a retreat. Why is the Empress in reverse here? Because of the Five of Hats. So um, the Five of Hats 
would be sadness, loss, regret, being focused on the past and being very regretful because of it. What's going on in Leo's social and romantic life? Three cards for Leo's social, two cards for Leo's social and romantic life. Two cards for Leo's social and romantic life. One card for Leo's social and romantic life. One card for Leo's social and romantic life. You're not falling on me. So it's traditional. There's nothing unorthodox about it. It's just very traditional. There could be some inappropriate behavior, some poor timing, being overindulgent, like an excessive behavior. There could be arguments. But there's damage control, rebuilding, salvaging things, being tipped off, getting out of the way before things collapse. Why is the hair font here? Because of the Queen of Pepper Mills. So the Queen of Pepper Mills is independent. She's outgoing. She's spontaneous. She's she's sexy. <laughs> Look how sexy she is. That's a sexy, sexy lady right there. Look at that sexy, sexy lady. Look at that sexy, sexy lady. She's a sexy lady. She's radiant. She's healthy. She takes charge of a situation. She's saying, you can do this. You can do this. Why is temperance here? Why is temperance here? Because of death. With your head. Hey, um, so something had to end. It just had to. So something new can flourish. Um, this like, very, very rarely ever talks about actual death. This is about change, transformation, a rebirth, out with the old, in with the new, surrendering. Curiouser and Curiouser. Because of the page of hats. So, this is, um, he's in the reverse. So he's disappointments. He's gossip. Again, we have stalking. We got stalking before, and this is stalking again. Because we got the same card twice. So somebody in your social and romantic life could be stalking you. Absolutely. Okay, so what's going on in Leo's career? What's going on in Leo's career? The Queen of Cups reversed. So somebody in your career is a fashion victim. Nine of Wands and the Four of Wands reversed. So we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. She's a fashion victim. She's manipulative. She's overly emotional. She's bitter. She's jealous. She doesn't follow her intuition. Don't be the Queen of Wands in reverse. And then we have the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is constantly on guard, taking on way too much. The battle weary soldier. And then we have the Four of Wands in reverse. So the Four of Wands in reverse, there's a break in communication. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Why is the Queen of Cups? The Queen of Cups is here because of the Knight of Oysters in reverse. So the Knight of Oysters in the reverse 
is money mad, self-centered, um, unemployed, shabby workmanship. Why is the Knight of Wands here? The hair one in the reverse, breaking rules, rejecting orthodox ways, thinking for yourself, living by your own rules. Why is the Four of Wands here? The Ten of Flamingos in the reverse, release from pain, new beginnings, the light at the end of the tunnel. Any other advice for Leo? Any other advice for Leo? Purity. Faith and purity. Be pure in your motives, pure in your intentions, and you'll go far. Well, Leah, thank you so much for joining me. Again, $20, 40-minute uh, readings until the end of the summer, $4.99. Um, career, $4.99. Couples, $4.99. Singles, shoot me an email if you want one of those. Enchanted mirror tarot at gmail.com. Thank you again for joining me today. Have a wonderful day. And a happy birthday, Rita.